Hello, it's time for new what's new video. This time C Sharp 8.0. A lot of cool stuff is going on in .NET world. New Visual Studio, C Sharp 8.0 and .NET Core 3.0. 2019 brings us huge novelties. To get most of this video, you have to be on at least intermediate to advanced level of C-sharp knowledge. So let's jump straight into the code. I will create special project in Visual Studio 2019, which will help you understand easily new concepts that are introduced. Let's prepare project, which will focus on rockets. Any type of rocket, but about that later. Let's get started. In order to create rockets, we have to define them first. I will create three classes, spaceship, career rocket and ballistic rocket. Kind of different categories, but all of them are rockets. Okay, when adding the class, we won't need any implementation. Just mark each of them as public. And after that, we got the model prepared. Let's create order model. So let's say that we are a company creating three different types of rockets and we need to get order for them. But probably not all customers will need to order all types of rockets. Maybe someone just want to order a spaceship and so on. And here comes to play the new feature of C Sharp 8.0. With this kind of structure, we don't know whether user will create instance of object. So we have to check for null always, but if we forgot about it, null reference exception can be thrown. So now you can mark reference types as nullable and you will get warnings about possible null reference. In order to do it, you have to add new directive. It is called nullable enable. And here you can see warnings in order to eliminate them and use nullable reference types, you have to add question mark next to the class name. So now let's create a list of orders that needs to be processed. As you can see, I haven't added all three rockets in any order, sometimes two, sometimes one rocket. Let's add one more class, which will be responsible for building rockets based on orders. I will call it rocket builder. Inside of this class, just simply implement build method. We'll now use next cool feature of new version of C-sharp, switch expressions. So generally when adding as parameter build orders, we should check if specific rocket is not null. Let's create simple for each loop and at the beginning we can check whether spaceship is null. The new way of doing it is to mix switch expression with tuple patterns. Okay, in order to create switch expression, you just simply add the key before switch keyword. In the core case, it is tuple. Using tuple patterns, we'll nest order.spaceship inside braces. And now, inside the switch, we can compare it with null tuple. And if it's true, let's just return a string. So for each order returning string, it means we have to return a list of strings as I enumerable. Adding the keyword yield because it is an iterator to return strings. As you can see, the switch keyword is underlined and that's because we haven't covered all possible scenarios. Let me quickly add also career rocket and ballistic rocket to the switch statement and prepare all cases. And now this warning disappeared. So let's test it. I will just create for each statement in main class to display in console result of each order. So here we will call the build function. Yeah, but we have to make it static first. Okay, so as you can see, it printed the build execution result. So our switch expression with tuples works. So we can now jump to the next new features, which are indices and ranges. They are 
just limiting our array or list with given criteria. Let me show you. I want to get from the first to the third element of this array. So I can add inside brackets one, two dots and three. It means that we get printed the second and the third order because arrays are iterated starting from zero. Yes, and that's exactly the result that we wanted. We can achieve the same by specifying the element from the end. So we want get from second to the second from the end. Counting from zero, we have to have inside brackets one, two dots, the sign which determines from end and one. Okay, and it has given us the same result. So as you can see, we have now greater possibilities when operating on lists and arrays. So let's go to the next cool feature, which are asynchronous streams. Right now, you will be able to add async and await keyword into the loop. So you can execute asynchronously operations inside a loop. And if used properly, it can give you huge boost in time of execution. Before starting, let me first extract this code into a separate method called create rocket. It will make just code more readable and you will see more clearly what's going on. So let's just add some asynchronous action like waiting for one second. It can be done by using task.delay method with await keyword. But the whole method needs to be async in order to use await. We can now add it. Okay, next error has shown. We cannot return I enumerable. It has to be task or I async enumerable. Yeah, new type added in C sharp 8.0. Okay, let's go back to the main class and what we have to do? We have to add await keyword before for each loop and async in the method declaration. As you can see, we don't have any errors. And now let me remove the range here to build all orders. And we can see. Yeah, every order is being processed with one second delay. So it is working. Okay, that was all what I want to show you in this video. I'm really excited about my future usages of new C Sharp features. So if you like this video, I highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel to be up to date with newest content.